Hey guys, Peter, HVAC Greatness. When you're pricing your services, HVAC, whether it be a repair or replacement, you need to calculate it in such a way that your bills get paid. And we're talking about your overhead. And a lot of people price, they use pricing methods that are kind of out of date. And I'm going to tell you why they're kind of out of date, uh, outdated, I should say. Um, we're having to adapt, as this article from the news said, to a repair market. And if your prices have been based on, predicated on prior sales, this may throw your entire pricing off and it's gonna end up screwing you up. Okay, let me give you a, a real quick example here, okay. So traditional pricing methods, let's say the old time and materials method was pretty fair. Um, what it would do is it had the labor at a marked up rate and it had the parts at a marked up rate. And so, for example, if the part costs you $50, depending on how you mark that up, um, you may put that uh, times three uh, and, say, and resell it for 150 Well, in most states, in order to, for you to do that, you need to be tax exempt and then turn around and charge sales tax on the final price so that you don't pay tax at the counter and it gets a little complicated. That's why a lot of people like the flat rate. But calculating that um is basically trying to guess how many parts you're going to sell or how much you're going to buy and resell and then how much to mark it up so that you can get your bills paid so technically that's not the right way to do it um the gross profit method goes like this you add up your cost of goods sold right and you divide it by uh, the reciprocal of your divide uh desired gp let's say you want a 45% GP, you divide that by 0.55 to get your sales price. Well, that's just a that's just a big old guess too because now you really don't know how many. Everybody's overhead's a little bit different. Let me just say that. And when you're using this method, you're depending on equipment um, costs in order to come up with your price. And what we need to understand is that your price, your overhead needs to get paid no matter what you sell. No matter if you're just going out there and you're not selling them anything, your overhead needs to be paid. So we do things a little differently. Um, if you have something that's really labor intensive, uh, in this example over here, where we have, uh, let's see here, your labor is only $600 and the, the uh, GP on this was about what 23 38 uh, a, day, uh, a day and then with this same type of job just with a little bit more uh, materials now we're charging 39 27 for our, our overhead well which one is accurate you know what I'm saying uh, and if you run a if you run a, a labor intensive de a job like let's say that you're on the job for two days then you may be down to fifteen hundred dollars a day. So this is the problem with using these methods. You're not going to be accurate. And so we have to go through a certain formula in order to calculate that. But it all starts with knowing your numbers. Now, when you set up your accounting, this is a um, this is a chart of accounts uh, that you can set your QuickBooks up in or any accounting in. And it's a really good one. Um, I got this from, uh, oh gosh, EPL. Um, his name will come to me for a minute. My gosh, I know him like I know my own name. So it'll come to me in a minute. Um, and anybody that wants this, I'll send you a copy of this for free. Just uh, email me at hvacgreatness uh, at gmail.com and just ask for the, uh, the sample of the uh, chart of accounts general ledger chart of accounts um so this is what this would look like so if you just have everything as sales and then everything as cost of sales we're not departmentalized we need like your residential new construction if you do that in one department we need your demand service uh, which everybody does in a different department your esas or cesas are your basically your maintenance agreements uh, that's good to put them in a separate department as well, um, as well as sales from the service department in the terms of accessories. If you if you combine all of it with service, it you, you 
it's kind of hard to tell what your technicians are selling, who are selling and, and who's not. So, and, and understand your profits. So we like to break those out. And then uh, retrofit is, is your change outs, right? So for most of us, we're going to use, uh, we're going to use this one, if that'll go yellow. And we're going to, uh, for change outs, and we're going to use this one for service. Um, but I would encourage you to come in and add a maintenance department as well as accessory on your service. And if you do some new construction, it doesn't necessarily have to be residential new construction. It could be um, custom homes, whatever. So the idea here is that if I'm going to go to the supply house, let me go make that yellow again, for my change out department, see how that's a 60? I'm going to put the dash 60 in and that's going to enter into my chart of accounts here so that when I run my reports, I can see how profitable each department is because I'm assigning labor to each of these departments and I'm, ass I'm assigning equipment, parts, materials, everything by department. So I know how profitable each of my departments is. So that's, that's, that's a sophisticated way to do it. But what if you're a little guy and you're just getting started and you don't have a really good chart of accounts, still try to set this up. But in the meantime, in our course, let me show you what I'm doing here. I've got this really simple one for you. We'll go through this with you together. And all we, all you have to do is come in here and enter in X number. Let's say you don't have an office staff, so we put zero there. And then um, that's gonna adjust. What that's this is gonna do is we're gonna figure out what your overhead is for the year. And in this case, it's 75,500. That's gonna populate over here, um, 70,500. And then we're going to uh, figure out how much time you've got in the field and uh, versus how much your, your draw is. So it's gonna, it's, gonna, it's gonna calculate and adjust your, uh, your overhead, okay? So in this case, this overhead is $93,000. What I would do is I would come over here to my price calculator and I'm gonna go to the master page on that. And all you need to do is update your overhead number. So this is a bigger company. This is uh, uh, $350,000 worth of overhead. It probably wouldn't be 3.2 million of that small of an overhead, but still, um, this will give you uh, an example of, of what this is. When we have this number, this is your golden number, by the way. When we have this number right, um, as soon as we make that adjustment, we update this number. Let's say that 350 becomes 400, okay? I get that right? 400,000. Every one of my price calculating books just, just automatically adjusted. So as soon as I go and enter in my pricing on this change out, for example, let's say I've got this uh, this system here, maybe I've got uh, $4,000 worth of equipment and materials, and then I'm gonna pop over here and look look here, I've got one, one change out, uh, one day two men on the, uh, on the job, uh, I know what my break even is gonna be, and I know what my competition is charging, so I know where I need to be in order to sell this job at a bare minimum. And I also know what I may be shooting for. So if I'm, if, if I'm trying to be on the lower end of my market at $9,100 uh, for the company, um, not 91,000, 9,100, Pete. There we go. Um, you're looking at a $3,600 GP, but but on this particular company's o overhead burns really low. Uh, and so it looks like a strong net profit, but uh, the commission rate is built into it. The financing or credit card is built into it. Any rebates that you may have from your manufacturer is built, built into that. So if, if I've got a commission salesman, I need to be around $10,345 and 26 cent. Uh, not around, be exactly that. And because first thing the financing company is gonna do, they're gonna take out their 5% uh, if this is a finance job. And the first person you're gonna pay is is gonna be your commission salesman. And then what's left over goes to the company, which ensures that the company makes what it needs to make. So this is what you're gonna have to charge for that. So knowing that ahead of time really helps you get competitive 
And then two, if you're in a situation where you've got to have so many change outs per month to meet your overhead and you're you're competing with somebody else and your customer saying, listen, uh, you're at 10,300. If you live for 9,300, I'll give you the job. Well, so if I run this job, that's a thousand dollars off. So in this scenario, I'm I'm gonna, gonna guess here, 8,100. So, uh, so yeah, we're at 9,200. Uh, would I be willing to do that? Well, well, shoot, I've got a net profit of two thousand uh, dollars. Yeah, it, I'd rather do that than not, you know, send my guys home. So if you're getting out there and getting competitive, these are really nice numbers to know. Um, now these these overhead numbers are not real, so don't use these, please. This is just uh, the calculator that's going to show you how to do that. The same is true on this green one. This would be a repair. Let's say you have a hundred dollar part. Um, there's that, and then on the calculator let's say i've got um uh 45 minutes on, on the job 0.75 of an hour right and so i know that my break even on this repair is here i'm generally trying to be let's let's say around uh 65 percent gp so that'd be about a 600 dollar repair but uh it's getting competitive out there maybe i want to come in at, at, at 450 uh, can I afford to do that? Well, it's $178 net profit for 39%. I guess you could, and because uh, it's a $238 gross profit, which means the overhead's covered on this. And again, $60 overhead, that's not realistic. We're going to have to run your numbers so that this is accurate. But uh, when we set all of this up, and I'm going to show you that way back over here, this would be your company, and, and we know that your number's going to be right. So if I drop this back so you can see the whole chart, um, we fill out all the yellow numbers for your company. This red represents your installation department. The green represents your service department. And this dark blue would be your hourly. So I'm going to show you how to figure your hourly as well so that when you are pricing this stuff, you're going to be accurate. Now, we went ahead and came up with a flat rate book. Let's see if I can find this real quick. Let this populate. This is just a menu size versus the old eight and a half by 11. This is a menu size flat rate book, a hard copy book, not something that's digital on your computer or on your tablet, but it's pretty darn cool. Um, so as you can see here, it's taking a long time to load for some reason. Um, as you can see here, let me get rid of this. Here, here's what that front page would look like. And then uh, the inside page would look like this and so on and so forth. And we've got this laid out about 14 pages, including the outer cover on the outside and then this back cover on the bottom. But these are your most common repairs. And this is just something that you can uh, make on a, hot, on a nice laminate, a hard copy, put a spiral on one end and just flip right for your customers. It's very user-friendly, it's very professional and it elevates your perceived value. So it's not just enough to know your pricing. Your customer has to perceive the value of that because it's hard a lot of times to come into some of these things and, and offer some of these repairs. So like on these specific pair repairs, let me just bring this one up for an example. If we, uh, if let's say we have a, um, we charge $494 for a basic uh, leak search. Or maybe we charge $691 for an electronically search that's difficult, right? Or we charge $1,300 for a, a break, you know, the, for the actual repair. You know, what all does that include? How, how do we put that together? Um, or we charge $1,500 to relocate a condensing unit. Uh, but the, the having these visuals in place, and then you have your pricing here, for example, uh, are really helpful in terms of how to, uh, when you present this to your customer, it's just a lot it brings a lot more value. So here, here's a level one repair. So a level one repair is any basic electrical or mechanical repair using level one materials uh, or parts such as a generic con a capacitor or contactor. Now, if you want to go into the, like the turbo contactor, maybe that would be a, a level two. Uh, these are level, level one, level two, category one. Category one uh, refers to how long it takes. And so these are pretty basic repairs in and out. When they get into a little bit longer, we go into a category two and you can have a category three and so on and so forth. 
and basically we decided you know let's just put this as one repair price because it's about the same time to do a capacitor as a contactor or a transformer right those they're, they're all cost about the same within a few dollars of each other anyway and the time's about the same so why come up with 20 different prices for for the ba basic same repair if you will the same time and material cost so um, this is the way we did it and you know like i said if you make it about the part the customer's going to say wow 315 dollars for a, a capacitor i just looked it up on amazon and it's eight bucks or ten bucks or whatever they call i don't even know what they cost anymore and that's why we say no it's a level one repair and again i've included this in our financials pricing i'm gonna i'm gonna give you a free copy of this as well um so that you can can have this so basically you'll you'll flip to the back page and you say no 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 it's uh it's not for the capacitor it's a level one repair and what the level one repair includes is all of our costs my time to be out here of course the part but a vehicle that came out here and all of these business expenses you know all of our inventory and our the, what we pay for our call takers and our our copy of machines our covid masks during covid our all of our warranty stuff all of the different things that go into a business are built into every service that we provide and you get a lot more than just some capacitor you get a quick and accurate diagnosis this is not a guess you get professional grade parts these are contractor grade this is not something you order off of amazon and who knows where it comes from uh, our stock our parts are in stock on a vehicle right now ready to go so there's no delay on that there's a full warranty on the parts and the labor versus if you buy something online you burn it up well sorry you know you should have known how to wire it right they're not going to warranty that but everything's warranted when you deal with a, a professional service company and we are insured we are licensed and it's true peace of mind but did you know for example that it costs your service provider hundreds of dollars just to pull into your driveway yeah we got your back so that's that's what you're paying for on the level one service and it's a fair price and um and so on and so forth then we've got this little strategy here uh this is these are secondary repairs so if i'm out there on that 300 and what it was that 340 dollar repair or 320 dollar repair if the other one's about to go bad too i can say look i got another level one repair that we can fix while we're here but it's just a matter of time before that one goes and you may would you like to take care of that it's only 191 if we do it while we're here or it's 340 if we come back or 320 whatever that price was so the idea is to stop the breakdowns right and 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 that's what that's what this visual is for the customer so you can read it something like this secondary repairs or proactive repairs on questionable components the experience tells us are more likely to fail in the not too distant future replacing them now saves you money the inconvenience of a future breakdown as well as eliminating potential damage to other more expensive components like the compressor or a heat exchanger or something else right so these secondary repairs may make a lot of sense for your customer as well as um for you and your business because as you're going to see you're going to get less equipment change outs and you're going to have more repairs so we've actually added something called a system refresh where if they just don't have the ten thousand dollars to put in a new system fifteen thousand dollars put in a new system you may want decide to do a refresh um maybe the word verbiage we use here is is it is it time to rebuild we can start with the starting components which might be your capacitors put a hard start kit in there to help help that compressor after a few years uh, new contact or new compressor leads whatever else that consists of for you at a thousand dollars or we can go ahead and do a basic system refresh which will include all of this as well as an inside transformer a new whip and disconnect and a complete system chemical cleaning if you want to go with the deluxe maybe it looks like this we'll include all of the uh, starting components and basic system refresh plus a new basic uh, replacement blower motor and a new condenser fan motor as well as a refrigerant um, up so many pounds blah 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 maybe, maybe you do a system seal or whatever whatever you do so um these are fully customizable but but this is nice it's it's a nice visual that that allows your customer to have a few options here i mean they'd rather spend thirty five hundred dollars maybe to take that 
eight year old, ten year old system and bring it up and put it in this best operating condition possible than go spend fifteen thousand dollars right now because maybe this is just not in the budget, right? So it's things like this that we want to do. But anyway, this is done uh for you and all you gotta do is come in and like change your colors. That's the same thing. All we did was just change the colors uh in the pictures for uh motion mechanical on this one. Um this is the inside of motion mechanical. There's Pat right there. He's the owner. And so there's different things you can do. This is what we started with. It doesn't look like this anymore, but but still he could take his, his stuff and, and do whatever he wants to with it. Um, again, the outer cover, this is Dr. Heat Pump so with his branding on here. Again, it's the same exact template. And then where's another one? Uh, Echo Comfort uh, guy in Jersey. Uh, over cool guys they uh, they have uh, this color scheme going on but it's the same template for all now back to the actual pricing the pricing calculator um, uh, this is your company information once this is done we do this together on the workshop uh, you really don't have to fool with it all you have to do is occasionally come in here let's say you add some overhead Let's say I, I got to come in here and I want to add somebody in the office and it's going to cost me, let's say I'm going to spend about um, $3,000 a month. So that's about $36,000 a year, right? And so all, all of a sudden my overhead jumped to $129,000, right? So um, if, if you look back, let me undo that. Uh, undo if we go back the overhead was 93 let me uh, redo that there so we add that 36,000 back in come over here to 129 so I would come over here and to my my price calculator and I would update my total overhead let's make that big enough so you can see it so I would update my overhead and I would say 129 850 whatever whatever it was I wasn't paying attention and then maybe my revenues are, are $1.2 million. One, two, zero. I think that's right. All right. So um, that's only 11% of revenues. That's pretty low. So anyway, uh, this is the magic number. Don't worry about your projected sales. We get this right. Everything else is going to be right. We, we have this. We have your labor. And by the way, your labor, um, we, we, go, we go put everything in here. We get your workers' comp right on there, your matching taxes, all your vacation holidays. And it comes up with your your actual field cost. What what it costs you for this two man crew uh, at eighty dollars an hour? Uh, it actually is costing you one hundred six eighty. Right? So we know exactly what that is. Same same thing on your service technician. Um, I mean, you may pay him or her fifty dollars, but it's costing you sixty six fifty. And so that's the numbers that we use. That's why this pricing calculator is so powerful. It's easy to use. We simplified it. If you've never done this before, you know you'll you'll know how to do it. So um, come join us. We're going to be doing this May the twentieth uh, next month. Um, next week. I'm sorry, and uh, hopefully you're seeing this video in time. Sorry, I'm a little under the weather. And uh, yeah, come join us. We're going to do this. We're going to do this live. It's, there's three two-hour workshops we're going to have them at three o'clock in the afternoon uh, eastern time monday wednesday friday everything's going to be recorded um when you register you'll actually go into the online platform so you can see this 24 7 and you'll have um uh, you'll have access to last month's recording so you can go ahead and get started if you want but the live sessions uh once they're recorded they'll replace the old recordings and they'll always be available to you. So you can always go back and rewatch these uh, anytime you forget something or you're not sure about something. It just kind of go through the video. And so we've broken it up by day to make it uh, uh, easier for you. So I mean, we've really done a good job on this. This is yours. You own it. You don't rent it. Uh, you know, all I ask is you keep this to yourself. Don't go giving it to one of those big companies out there. I may actually have to roll this into software at some point. But uh, in the meantime... It's just an Excel spreadsheet for you and uh, or Google Sheets if you prefer. And that's it. We, uh, we we hook you up. And whenever you run your numbers, you're right. You want to use our flat rate book. Um, 
we got you dialed in and you look professional and it's a, it's just a whole lot easier you know getting that three thousand dollars if you're dressed nice and you have professional pricing and things like this than it is if you're just you know blue jeans and t-shirt you know writing on the back of a business card you know um, we want to be professional and these numbers are accurate I'm telling you we don't miss nothing on this so when you price it you are priced correctly and not guessing games doing the GP method or trying to mark up equipment at one rate and parts at another rate based on how much you paid for just forget all of that let the formula do the work for you once we get it all set up for you and you understand it you just enter in a few boxes there's your price uh, actually your pricing um, uh, scale just depends on what margins that you as a business owner decide that you want to be at and I would encourage you to be at market value uh, whatever the market is if you as best you can so that you're you're competitive but you're gonna find out you little guys especially uh, that you're highly profitable okay but you may find out that your overheads kind of high by the time I get done with you because I'm gonna make sure you get paid every month versus um, a few Sometimes you're out there and you're put doing your pricing and you try to take a little bit of money out to pay yourself and then bills come due and you can't seem to make ends meet and we got to fix that. So we do that by proper pricing and, and budgeting and projections. So we're going to give you actual projections. Uh, this is exactly how many service calls you need to do this month. This is exactly how many change outs you need to do this month at a minimum. This is your advertising budget because if you ain't doing, if you're not hitting those levels, Time to advertise. We'll show you how to do that. So um, we got it dialed in here, guys. This is uh, this is a really, really, really big deal, and I made it extremely affordable so that even if you just started your business, you can afford this. And you guys who are already in business, well, you're foolish not to take advantage of something like this because I made it, you know, dropping a bucket for you guys. So um, there's I'll put a link underneath this video on how you can get registered, and I do have a discount amount in there for you. So please come join us. And uh, yeah, let's have a good time. Uh, it will be live, so we, we can actually use your example and we'll use your pricing and you can ask all the questions that you want. And if you want some one-on-one -on -one time with me, we'll do that as well, cool? So I will see you over there, I hope. And um, for those of you who've already been through this, maybe put a comment. I know all the comments on the first two training sessions were fantastic, they were just loving it. So, uh, you know, any feedback would be, be appreciated, okay? You guys be safe out there. Pete Ramsey here. I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.